It's Monday, August the 10th, and you're listening to the 300 Today Basin Podcast. I'm Vince. I'm Blavin. And I'm Anthony. This is the Geek Chic Culture Show. We talk about all the cool things in the world. Uh, and uh, Blavin's back. I'm back. What's up, Blavin? Welcome, welcome back to the show, Blavin. I am. We look forward to hearing about your blavin things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the question on everybody's mind. All yeah. of them. All the blavin things. What does blavin do on his blavin time? <laughs> Not a lot. Yes. Magic. Uh, sadly, TJ has gone. Aw. Yeah. He has left us. For four yeah. weeks. For his eternal reward. <laughs> Something like that. For, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Jafar. Yes, yes, yes. He is, uh, he'll be back next month. Yes. Yeah. He's in the land of the stars and actors. He's going to turn, kickstart his Hollywood career. <laughs> that kid. Because he's in the Silicon Valley. Uh, We're going to, like, if he's on an episode of Big Bang Theory, like... Crazy. If he's in an episode of what I watch in the evenings alone, <laughs> which that, is more that, likely what that, he's trying to get that, into, that's LA was, is the mecca. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna for, say mm, for that, my man. <laughs> <laughs> would you keep watching it though? I would. Like, <laughs> you go, TJ. Would man, you, you pack it. I don't know if I could watch it. No, I would. Yeah, your family. Like, I don't like. I, I, I wouldn't be able to watch, watch it. it. That's for sure. I would be like, oh. <laughs> you would watch it, but you wouldn't like. Use it for its use. Yeah, I would. Uh, that's fucking weird. Oh, uh, that's weird. I thought if wait. you like watch it to like study and be like, oh look, TJ's in this thing. Cool, good for him. Like, oh, wait, 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 talking about funny games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're talking about combos and stuff. Yeah, right? you know, when a girl and a yeah, boy I, love each other very much. They yeah, fight no, I, I, on I, I, if TJ was playing any combos, he was doing like tutorial videos. I'd watch them. Yeah, yeah. tutorial videos. Tutorial videos. <laughs> <laughs> that's gross. That's gross. You know, it isn't gross. What? Tell me. I heard that there was a rogue nation. Oh, my God. Oh, I forgot you were going to tell me. There was a rogue nation. Fine. Man. I have my own movie review. Oh, yeah? Solitary movie review. <laughs> <laughs> we watched Mission Impossible 5. I did. Rogue nation. Uh-huh. Uh, well, me and Anthony and TJ did. Uh, I believe you did not watch it. No, I didn't. Why so, not? we're going to spoil it. No, it's all good. I don't know how else to, to set this up. It's Tom Cruise doing Mission Impossible shit. No, the Russians are back. No, they're not. And uh, it is it is the summer action movie you've all been waiting for. Like actual? Though? Like actual. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was it good? It's fantastic. Actual? You know that's mine, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one's blue. Yeah. Oh, disgusting. disgusting. You just sucked on his popsicle oh, stick. Oh, that's gross. That's, it's like we kissed. That's... Disgusting. Oh, All right. Well, I got. I'm. I'm gonna be talking about somebody else and ma- another magic stick later. Yeah. But okay. Thank uh, you. So this this movie. What's the plot? This one. So you know how Tom Cruise is part of the IMF. Yes. There's a secret IMF. Anti IMF. Really? And they're tasked with just the- destroying the world. Really? Yeah. Is, are they the Rogue Nation? Uh huh. And so he <laughs> he's. I thought he was the Rogue Nation trying to take down IMF. No, 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 no. He's off the books now. Yes. Okay. Interesting. So it's Tom Cruise, without support, taking down anti-IMF. And proving that he doesn't actually need support to be cool. Yes. Does he hang out with all his past buddies? Of course. Yeah. Eventually, like, the whole group gets disbanded, and they're go- they have to work, like, office jobs in the CIA. Yeah. But one by one, he gets them all back. Oh, my God. This is so yeah. this is like an Oceans movie, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and then and they, they do mission... Imp- they they do impossible missions. Okay. Um, the movie opens up with Tom Cruise hanging off the side of a jet. Okay. Yeah, he actually did that. He did? So, like, a lot of... Like, I think a lot, if not all of these stunts... He did them all. He did them all. Yeah. So, like, wow. when, uh, in that trailer, when he's hanging off the side of the airplane, yeah. he did that. Nice. Yeah. There's uh, one... There's one moment in the movie where he has to be underwater, and he had to train to hold his breath for six minutes. Right. To, to film. The six whole... minutes? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So, Tom Cruise is still awesome. So, when he passed out, he wasn't actually passed out in that scene? No. He was just acting? Yeah. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah, no. I, I, I don't know you guys, but uh, I've always loved Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise <laughs> is the best. I like Tom Cruise as an actor. Tom Cruise as a person. What's wrong with him as a person? He's kind of... After that whole Oprah couch incident. Who cares? Kind of went off the rails. He was in love. He looks Katie Holmes. Off the rails. Who cares? I mean, we, all, we're, we all go a bit crazy every now and then. We do. Yeah. And we should forgive those people. Never. Uh, it depends. It depends. We I don't mean, forgive villains. <laughs> yeah. Tom Cruise is still a good guy yeah. at the end of the day. Is he though? 
I think so. Yeah. I think that other person's a good person, though. Uh, Simon Pegg? Yeah, he's cool. Did you know that Tom Cruise has... There's a Tom Cruise Day in Japan? No what? way. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because he is the biggest celebrity in America to visit Japan the most. Oh, nice. Is it like a national holiday? Like no, it's just, decla- it's just declared Tom Cruise Day. <laughs> oh, he loves it there, right? Yeah. Weird. That's cool. But no, it's a, it's a good movie. I yeah. mean, it's standard spy stuff. You like cool gadgets, cars... High speed chases. This is it. Yeah, it's weird to review this movie because like, it's nothing new. No. But yet it's still awesome. Like everything I complain about in movies of like stuff not being fresh or stuff not being yeah original idea. Like <clears throat> for some reason it doesn't count with Mission Impossible. Yeah. And they do the coolest shit, even though it's the same formula all the time. Yeah. You know how when you watch the Fast and the Furious movies and they're like, oh, that's a cool movie, or but it's you get the sense that these are actors who think they're starring in like the best movie in the world but it's yeah. actually the dumbest movie in the world yeah. Mission Possible is kind of like they the actors know that this isn't going to be the best movie in the world but they make the most of it yeah and it's great and there's like a lot of sick scenes like uh, Tom Cruise was handcuffed behind like and his hands were handcuffed oh behind the God. pole yeah. Yeah. and so uh, there was a whole fight scene and they gave him the key but his hands couldn't reach together far enough to unlock the cuffs yeah so he had to get out of this pole so what he did was <laughs> he like grabbed the pole and like put his legs in the air like he was a f- oh, I know he's, he's and then he kept up, like jumping up. himself yeah, yeah, up yeah. using his core strength yeah and he basically did like air crunches yeah, he did yeah. air crunches all the way up the pole yeah. I'm like oh Tom Cruise your core strength Unbelievable! Yeah, like, I mean, I do that every day to get him out of bed. But I, I, know, I know you guys mean. I think it's a bit more impressive when he does it because he's like fifty three. Yeah, that's yeah. True. And like, man, so oh, he, there's a lot of really like I, uh, the motorcycle scene is probably one of my f- favorite chase scenes in recent memory. Like, there's a lot of cool shit going on there. Just like it with high with fast paced action, but also just uh, like they keep it light in this movie. Yes. There's a lot of action scenes where they have comedic elements. Right. So, like, an example with the... Uh, Tom Cruise is riding on, along the highway, and uh, a guy pulls up to him and looks to the side to shoot him. And you're like, how is Tom Cruise going to get out of this, right? And it was the simplest solution of, this dude isn't looking where he's going. I'm going to break, and he's going to run into the back of a car. And, like, you wouldn't have thought of that in this kind of, like, action movie where everything's over the top and whatever, and it makes for, like, a comedic moment. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah, it's a it's a fun ride. A definite summer blockbuster you should go see. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good. I like the Rogue Nation. <laughs> it's a cool concept. There's there's also this little bit of like, because Mission Impossible is kind of like America's James Bond. Yeah. Yeah. And so there is a little play at the British in this one where they're like, you British people are so yeah, you're so pass passe. You're mm-hmm. not worth it anymore. Yeah. And. uh... Yeah. I don't no. know. If, yeah, I don't know if that was a shot at James Bond specifically, but no, I don't know. I don't know. Could be a shot at just a just British England. Secret Service. And you took personal offense, Vince. I did. <laughs> I totally did. But then it was Tom Cruise, and I'm like, Nah, okay, it's fine. I can't be mad at you. I can't be mad at Tom Cruise. <sighs> <sighs> Loved it. Great. Yeah, it was definite watch. Yo, five stars. <laughs> Zero jocks. <laughs> I miss this. Blavin, do you want to regale us with your solo movie review? Yeah, what do you yeah. watch? So I'll start with uh, the story, and then we'll go presentation, <laughs> then sound. Okay, but what tell, was it? <laughs> tell me. So I saw Southpaw with Jake the boxing, movie. Yeah, the boxing movie. I actually saw it twice. Um, you must have loved it. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Uh, it's Jake Gyllenhaal as a boxer, and basically, it's no secret, but in the trailer, his wife dies, and then he, he's left with his daughter. And he starts taking to drinking and stuff, and it's his road back to redemption kind of thing. So it's a very standard, standard, like, boxing movie. Yeah. Uh, what surprised me most about this movie is that Jake Gyllenhaal got super duper ripped. Yeah. And I'm yeah, pretty dude. sure, like, just a couple of months ago, he was in that Nightcrawler movie or whatever. And he was last skin year. And bones? Super yeah. skin and bones. Yeah. The movie's really good. Yeah. So... In this movie, I mean, it's pretty much, like you said, for action movies, this is the standard sports movie. You know, he does... There's the whole fall of the <coughs> the character, and then there's this whole rise up to, you know, being the champ again kind yeah. of thing. Uh, I was saying before, I was going to talk about someone with a magic stick, <laughs> and 50 Cent's in this. Oh, is wow, really? what? Yeah, yeah, he's his manager or whatever, right? Oh, wow. But this is before, apparently, 50 went bankrupt, so... 
I was like, oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, T.I.'s an Ant Man. Yeah. Like, T.I.'s an Ant Man? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's the, the, he's uh, the driver. He's the driver. He's the, yeah, he's the driver. What? And apparently Tyrese was in this too, in Southpaw, but I think he was just the first boxer that. Because uh, there's no other, no one else I could think who it would be. Okay. But yeah, you know, this movie's great. I liked it a lot. If you're looking for like a sports movie, kind of in the same vein as Warrior, it's pretty serious. I was going to ask, is it like Warrior? Yeah, it's serious. Okay. So Warrior's it's, really good. Yeah, so if you like stuff like that, then this is a good one. The, and Jake Gyllenhaal will have to learn how to box for this. And it has a really, really good training montage, which is what I only go for for sports movies. Were you just playing like the Rocky theme in your head the whole time? Or? No, they, they actually had a song done by Eminem. Oh, okay. And apparently Eminem was supposed to have this role. Oh, wow. It was supposed to be, but I think... Jake Gyllenhaal filled it in. And Jin Ha's like, look at this beard I can grow. Yeah, yeah because apparently uh, this is supposed to be Eminem's vehicle back into stardom. But you know. is he not? I thought Rap God was his vehicle back to stardom. Like he was all over the radio with that song. No, not that. Like I mean, like media and stuff. Wasn't um, he? he Miles apparently this was supposed to be like some. Sort oh, he of, wants to get back into movies. Yeah, apparently this is supposed to be a sequel to Eight Mile or something. Yeah, oh, it's weird. Weird. But yeah, I can't wait though. Next week, straight to Compton. That's going to be a good movie. Oh, 100% down for that movie. Yeah, because of course. I mean, it's of our lives, right? No, it's not. It's like the opposite <laughs> of my life. <laughs> but I just really like that. I really like their story. Yeah. So I didn't know that... You know that song where it goes, Cruising Down the Street in My 6'4"? Yeah. I didn't know that I knew that song because of a band in the 2000s who covered it. And they did it like an acoustic Yeah, version. yeah. They did the country version. Like for... Dynamite Hack or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. That sounds so funny. Yeah, and so it's just a bunch of like preppy white boys yeah. in the music videos, like a bunch That's of rich kids. That's how you kids. knew that song. Yeah, yeah he knew oh, it through like a joke God. cover. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm part of the you know the, the, you know. I knew about that because I was an angsty teen and I was I played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and I was like, man, let's start listening to some NWA. I knew about that because I grew up with that shit. I didn't. Did you actually? Yeah. Who Ricky? Oh, yeah. You're, oh, oh you're your cousin. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. Yeah. But I don't know the. The music like that, is that really, did that really appeal to your young years? No, I had no idea. Oh, okay, all right. So you just heard it in the background. I constantly heard that kind of music all the time. Oh, okay, oh, that's okay. what it was, right? Yeah. Because, I mean, it's not really something that is very poppy, right? No. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> no. To, I like, to me, I liked it. Yeah, 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 I know, I hear you. But you know what I mean? It doesn't follow the conventional norms. Yeah, right? like, I didn't, I mean, I didn't go to any other of my friends and be like, yo, check out this song. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's uh, my review for that. That was good. So Southpaw... Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Good movies all around. Eight Mile. Let's move into our uh, picks of the week. Do it. Impossible Paw. Impossible. Now, we've been talking about... What have we been talking about? We've been talking about a lot of stuff. We're talking about a lot of things. A lot of... Oh, I forgot that. I forgot a lot that. of uh, consumption of media. Um, I heard an interesting story. Tell me. So, the world of television, right? Yes. It's the been dying a, medium. Yeah. It's, 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 you're right. It's a dying medium because of services like Netflix. Netflix? And any other sort of crush your role? Yeah, there's some sort of subscription <laughs> model that you want to that you want to do that. And uh, show me. <laughs> and those type of things have helped with piracy. I mean, piracy's not gone, but piracy still it's it's lower than it than it has been. Oh really? Oh, because it's all in there. Yeah, because it, it's the model. Because people can't people wanted it on demand, right? Yeah. No, it, it's the ease of use factor. It's just yeah, you just log in and I yeah. guess it's there. Yeah. There is one type of media. That has always been strong with piracies and, and stuff, or that we've always expected to be free at this point. Oh, I get it. Music. Cassettes. No. <laughs> Vinyl. Okay. Porn. Ooh, no. Wait, porn's not oh, free? Dang it. Por- porn nowadays is generally easily accessible in a free manner. Correct? Quick search. Those sites. This hey, podcast does have an explicit rating for. A listen, reason. you you can have. All, you, I know everyone has their favorite sites, but the 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 big one's always been Pornhub. Yeah. Is it? Yes. That's okay. that's well, that's, that's, that's the leader. X videos. Nope. <laughs> okay, buddy. I just said you all have your favorites, but the leader is faves. Is, is the is the Pornhub? Anyways, uh, all these videos are free, and it's completely fine to watch them because they are. Like, you're not going to... It's not considered piracy, right? It's yeah. Like, it's like YouTube. It's consumption. However, Pornhub's looking to change the game. Oh, my no. gosh. They're going to implement a Netflix-style subscription service. Premium? Porn. 
And I don't know how I feel about this. Isn't that already happened though? Like, can't you already pay for premium? You can pay for premium, but can you turn on your PlayStation 4 and click the Pornhub app and get all the premium services? <laughs> I mean, I do want to take a break you know, from playing Deus Ex and just switch cause, over. Because believe it, you, you, you work in an electronic store, you know how all those TVs come with Netflix equipped, right? Yeah. What if it was Netflix plus... Pornhub equipped. That would, they would never advertise that. That'd be amazing. They would never advertise it, but what if it was? It was there. Yeah. So you're telling me that I could just be like playing Deus Ex, then hit my home button and go to the Pornhub app and it says you gotta close this application and say yes, <laughs> yes, I'm gonna close this application. But at the same time, because it is a premium service, it's not like when you're generally searching, you're looking at all these like random five, ten minute clips and like yeah, it's a premium service oh. with premium. <laughs> The content on there. That's storylines and all. Yeah, you and you have you scene select and everything. <laughs> scene select. Can I get different subs and dubs? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, you're paying for it. Can I get director commentary yeah. on top of it? But no, I just think I just think it's really interesting because for the longest time in my mind, porn has always been it. You don't pay for. You're an idiot if you pay for porn. But this could change the game. I always hear that like some of those porn sites are totally worth it if you do it. Yeah, no, I know. That's what I hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hear, I hear, but I, I've never done it because... Why well, pay for it? Exactly. What am I, chump? <laughs> 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 this, I mean, this could change everything. This could change the world it as could, we know it. It could, like... No one thought Netflix was going to do anything when Netflix came out. Right. All right. The same way, like, in my mind right now, it's like, who would ever pay for pornography? Yeah. Do you right? do you know a lot of people still watch porn? Yeah. yeah like, it's still, like, the big... Everyone... Bigot- like, the porn industry is still the biggest, can like in terms of movies, television. They're and always music. they're always the first with the money to adapt to new technology. So like the first people to use four K stuff is porn. What? First yeah. people to use Blu rays are porn. What? Yeah. Yeah. And the first used three D. Three D porn. Porn is always the the leader in. So like with with the HD blue the HD DVD Blu ray war. Yeah. Uh, Everyone was like, well, what site's porn going to take? And porn took Blu-ray. And then everyone thought of that as, like, the nail in the coffin for HD DVD. Jeez, Louise. Porn's a huge industry. Yeah, man. When you all get your virtual reality sets, you're not going to be playing video games. It's all porn. Yeah, is it going to be the the Oculus or is it going to be the whatever the Samsung thing is, I can't right? believe that. Whatever the porn picks up. The biggest yeah. browser. That's really fun. Yeah. Portable browser? Yeah. 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 That's hilarious. But yeah, no. So, I mean, what's Netflix? Eight bucks a month? Yeah. Yeah. Unless you get, like, the higher-end package where you can use more than a certain right. amount of TVs. Well, there you go. Pornhub, eight bucks a month. Well, I hope that it's hidden on my statement fees. I don't want people to see it. I just want it to be written under like miscellaneous or, or <laughs> rainbows and butterflies <laughs> for eight bucks a month. Who's checking your statements? Me. The shame. The shame is there. Well, I don't I don't get paid well, statements, so... Yeah. I think the tellers, like, people want it because, like, when you, if you do stuff at a bank, like... Tellers have access to all that. Yeah, but I hope the teller's like, oh man, you subscribe too? Nice. <laughs> they won't say that. They have to sign confidentiality agreements. No. Yeah. yeah. Lame. But yeah, that's, uh, that's one of my picks, so we're going to another one, Blavin. So my pick of the week, or I actually have two. Good. I'm Anthony's. I like this. Thing. What? So what? My two picks of the week is that one, in some Sega arcades in Japan, they have a huge poster of the Love Live girls, and people put shrines in front of them and w- worship them before they leave. What? Yeah, they have people like bowing in front of them and leaving food. So and wait, stuff. did the fan? So okay, so the- in Club Segas, yeah, they set they up have the these giant posters. Yeah, the Sega put them up. Yeah, but they didn't put up the stuff in front of. They them. They didn't put up the shrines. No, the people of Japan took it upon themselves. Yeah, to worship their to favorite. worship the poster. Yeah, <clears throat> that's weird. You love it. No, that's insanely creepy. And then my second pick. Now no, I, that's we gotta we gotta talk about this. What, what the frig? No, you you probably do that. No. Like why? You probably, is, there, is there a reason in this article that they explain why? No, the people just it, love or? their love life, you know. They Kotomi chan needs, you know. I don't little, know who that is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's happening? And that's... they're all wearing their new outfits in the new summer movie. Oh my god. I'm not lying. The picture no. was a guy like bending down, like knees was down. Was it a guy or was it multiple pictures it of different people? A guy, but every single girl in front of them had an offering. Oh my gosh! Excellent. Yeah, I mean, the downfall of that company of that country is coming. It's not even that like 
It's not even that uncommon, right? Like, I mean, no, like, like, yeah, we just went there, and, like, Love Live was all over the place. Right. Enough to where, like, Vince is like, I should probably watch Love Live. And I'm like, no, Actually? don't do it. And, like, but, like, so you can just take things too far. Like, Well, you wouldn't worship your favorite, like, Big Boss or whatever? Here, I'll show you a picture, no. and you tell me if it's... That's fucking weird. Also, there's, why is your phone shaking like a motherfucker? I, I don't know, but there's, like, yeah, tatami mats and everything. That's weird. Well, I think, would you rather have this, or would you rather have Civil War in your country? Civil War. Really? Probably. No. Wow. wow. Yeah. Civil unrest or this? Civil unrest over this fucking weirdness. Nah, no, dog. At least, At least can, everybody's happy. At least you can explain the civil unrest. <laughs> to who? <laughs> to other countries. <laughs> Whatever. So my second pick of the week is something that actually made me laugh out loud. Tell me. So there is this guy who had this AI that he made that can search out patterns. So what he did was he put every magic card in like in the database and put it in there and see if this AI could make magic cards for him. Okay. And it did to hilarious results. Like so really I, bad or really good? Well, some were playable, but I'll read out to you guys some of the ones, my favorite <laughs> ones. Okay. So this is a Perur's Twin. It's three mana. It's an artifact. You can pay one and sacrifice a creature. If, if an opponent would die, you gain four life. What? If an opponent would die. <laughs> <laughs> Archon. It's two in the blue. Enchant a creature. Whenever enchanted creatures dies, sacrifice it. And the and this the text is and stay dead. <laughs> Demonic to you cyclone. One in a white for an enchantment aura. Enchant a creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two plus two and has feel. Feel? Feel. Like F E E L. What's feel? I don't know. Did they explain the keyword? No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh my thing, god. Right? Okay, this is my, one of my favorite ones. I hope that's a new status. Yeah. <laughs> or black, black. Chanter of the Reflections. Creature, zombie, shaman. It's a 4 4. Where Chanter of the Reflection dies, destroy all creatures and blue spells, and a player of his or her choice until <laughs> end of turn. Destroy a player <laughs> yeah, no, no. until end of turn. No, but it's funny because. The, you don't pick the thing. The card does. <laughs> so oh, you gotta, okay. You gotta ask the, the card. card. <laughs> hey, what do you what do you want to kill? <laughs> What's the player you want to destroy? <laughs> and then my final one is called Butt Wolf. Butt Wolf. Like B U T okay. Wolf. Okay. It's four and a green. All right. For a creature ooze. It's not even a wolf. Okay. And it has flash, meaning you can play it at any time. Okay. And it's a three three. And the text at the bottom says, "I attack you with a two two period." But wolf exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark <laughs> because if they attack you with a two two you flash them in and it's a three three block it <laughs> so that's that that's that's what the thing and like so many of these cards are so crazy it's like one of them has trample Tra like, <laughs> instead of trample it says trample and it's like when you play this card you may exile the top card of your library then shuffle your library and if your graveyard would be in your hand pay one mana <laughs> like that that would be the kind of things that he would do right so like. I'm not currently following the Twitter of it. It's called Robo... Uh, it's like Robo Rose. Oh, so he made a Twitter account? Yeah, for? and oh, every day he posts a new one. That's awesome. And it's so funny. Like, I can't handle... So it's only funny if you know magic rules, but it's it's pretty good. So That's, yeah, that's hilarious. That's, that's my pick. Of the Trouble. <laughs> Trouble. Oh, yeah, has, has feel. It has feel. Uh, Anthony, regale us with the pick of the week. <coughs> uh... Okay, so my pick of the week is less fun than that. Uh, so a report out of a Japanese financial newspaper called the Nikkei, uh, they had a report on Konami and the changing face of Konami, how they're not really a video game company anymore and mm -hmm. how they're switching mm -hmm. to gambling mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Uh, and they revealed the kind of work conditions or working conditions that the employees go through there. Yes. Uh, and it's like borderline old like it's like what you would expect in like a slave labor factory so what? yeah that's how i feel at least it's, it's crazy before you say anything have you ever worked in a corporate setting i have okay and it's it's never been as bad as what okay. this sounds like okay well so, working for konami yeah so uh it starts off with uh security cameras in the workplace so that's nothing bad but the reason they have security cameras is not for security purposes. Mm. But it is only to feel, to make employees feel that they are being watched. <laughs> That's good. And, and that they feel that they have to be uh, efficient. 
that's and doing their job, right? Yeah, so they're like these people. Like we don't want, we don't care if people are like stealing office supplies. We only care if they're doing their job. The other thing is, so say say Blavin, you went out to lunch, right? Okay, and you came back like five minutes late. Okay, you would over the public building PA system, you would be publicly shamed through the whole company about being late for work. I think that's a bit more Japan and part. It's Konami. still crazy <laughs> to me, yeah. at least. Oh, of course, because we don't have that culture. But you know, yeah, yeah. In Japan, you can't be late. Yeah, and they're, they're publicly named and insulted over the company PA system. Oh, yeah, yeah. maybe that's the pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other one is any developers they are deemed as u- use not useful. Okay, say they're they're not working to their quota, or uh, they've come late too many times, or they have an attitude problem, uh, which is determined obviously by the higher ups if mm. they if they have an attitude problem, they are repositioned in the company. So it's not like you were a senior developer and you got bumped down to like junior developer. You were a, say a senior developer and you got put into a factory line worker making patchy slot machines. Yes. So you're not even using your own skill set. You're do you you're using un you got put into a position with unskilled labor. Okay. As punishment, purely as spiteful punishment. Mm. Uh, the other one was some people also got repositioned like this, not for being useless, but what happened was a previous Konami employee got a job, I think it was at Bandai Namco. Hmm. And on their Facebook, they were like, hey, I got a job at Bandai Namco. I'm really excited for my new job. And as a friend of that person, I say I was a friend of you that got the job. I liked it. And I'm a Konami employee. Hmm. They figured out that I liked they got a new job mm-hmm. and then would demote me and mm. send me to line working stuff like that and like they would find you on facebook and then be like you went against our company and then put you in like unskilled labor roles that's why i have stopped facebook use. <laughs> that's why you stopped facebook use. <laughs> <laughs> and like it's just really creepy like uh it's a lot like when you hear like uh, 1984 stuff of like the the big corporations watching you controlling your every movements and stuff and, yeah and like so the the thing about this is the Nikkei article isn't saying that this is like a great thing to do like even pe- people in the company and Japanese people are like that's kind of that's fucked up yeah right even for like a shame culture sure uh, and there's other weird rules like they have very limited internet access or the the division that was previously Kojima production had literally no internet access. So if they wanted to reference stuff from for their game, they would have to like go to a different building or like a public library or something to search up things and then go back to the office and just weird stuff like that. Cool. To control productivity. Uh, and so yeah, the thing the thing to note is that like the Japanese people aren't saying that like this is okay. Like the Nikkei is like this is kind of weird uh, that or and kind of harsh that they're doing it, but right. it's providing some sort of uh, profit for them. But like at what cost, right? Uh, but yeah, it was just a really w- weird article coming out. Like, it's a really interesting read. Uh, Austin Walker of Giant Bomb reported on it, mm-hmm. so you can find it on Giant Bomb. Well, he's not getting hired at Konami in time soon. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> but uh, but this brought a bunch of conversations on uh, on podcasts about like data, data information and like on Windows Ten. Like, if you don't manual do the manual install on Windows Ten, like all the information sharing options are automatically set to yes Mm -hmm. and all your information is sent to microsoft and stuff like that and and like how far are you willing to go for convenience features if it means your whole life is for public use Mm -hmm. and stuff like that it it sparked a lot of really interesting conversations so it's a really cool article i suggest you read it i'm sorry how did the how did the data information sharing link to the konami work It, it was like a big loophole it was like because, so, like, Konami got into Facebook, found oh, okay, you okay. doing stuff. I got it. Even though you're set to private somehow. Like, I, it must have, like, a mole on the inside. Yeah. And then, like, just stuff like that. Uh, it went down a it went down a loophole of uh, workplace environment, then privacy, and then data collection. And it just started going down this uh, rabbit hole, I guess, of conversation. But it sparked some really interesting conversation on stuff on podcasts and yeah. internet forums. Uh, it sounds like to me, Konami just wants to get rid of its employees. Yeah, it sounds like it. Honestly, sounds like they need they want to get out of the video game business, 
and they want to make their next Castlevania game a patchy slot machine. So yeah, no, it sounds like uh, sounds like business, <laughs> unfortunately. But like, from I don't know, I feel like that's a little too far for even business sometimes. No, that's that's how you do it because if they want to switch <laughs> industries. But they want to get rid of people. They don't want to lay them off because they have to pay severance packages or whatnot. If they yeah. can get you to leave out of your own volition, they don't have to pay that. So shady. It, I'm not saying it's oh, okay. morally correct. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying if you're worried about the bottom line, yeah. then yeah, you don't give yeah. a fuck about the okay. people working there. Yeah. That's just a sad effect of the world. I'm not saying we should, we should do, do it. that. Okay. I'm saying that's how some people think. And You of all people, though. Feel like. Oh, don't get me wrong. <laughs> when I when I do rule the world, I am running it that way. Like, make no mistake. But other people shouldn't do that. Other people, only me. Just <laughs> no. Wait till I get there. I live on double standards, so it doesn't <laughs> okay. worry. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then there was like some yeah. Gamescom stuff, but I was gonna say like Gamescom was this past week. Is there anything there you wanted to touch? Uh, on? I really like the fact that on so during the Xbox conference, they mentioned that they all going forward. All Xbox 360 games that are free for gold are will be backwards compatible with your Xbox One. Mm. So if you only have an Xbox One, you'll be getting double the games. It still blows my mind that the whole backwards compatibility thing is a big selling point for people. Really? Yeah. Like you just, still you want the new systems to play the new shit? Yeah. Like I was talking to some of like my 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 toy industry friends, and then they're they're like, "Oh man, now I'm gonna get an Xbox One." I'm like, "Why?" They're like because I got a 360. I'm like, I don't get it. Like, I could play games. I'm like, oh, that's why you want an Xbox so One? F- so for me, like, having my... P- my Like, so I went deep into PS3. Like, of course you did. My library is not of normal people. Yeah, well, and that's like, you. Yeah, that's me, right? That's specifically me. But, like, when they said the PS4 will not have backwards compatibility, like, it didn't really affect me in that way. Mm-hmm. For the Xbox, on the other hand, I never owned a 360. Yeah. So these are all... If I cannot play those games in some sort of a remaster or in, in some sort of other format mm-hmm. uh, that I have, mm-hmm. this is great for me. Because there are, like, Xbox 360 games that I've always wanted to play, like the Gears of War games. So the, I think Gears is just a very specific situation, because I don't know why you just don't buy a 360. I just didn't. I don't know why. Because, like, when it comes to things like Super Nintendo, you were... you Actually, today you just said you wanted to go buy I one. I wanted to go buy one, and they're sold right? out, right? So... I mean, I get it. There's some certain convenience features, but yeah, at the end of the day, I don't know. I it's fine. And like, as like this, it'll also also sound weird as someone who has like ten consoles hooked up to their TV. Yes, like, like I, I know, ha- I know, space is not an issue for you. I have no more space. Oh, <laughs> I have no more space. now I have no more space because okay. I have filled it to the max. Okay, unless I go out and buy an HDMI switcher. Okay, which I should. Probably should probably buy a switcher or another TV. Uh, and another whole entertainment system I, I probably could i probably could yeah sounds like a plan uh blaine did you have any gamescom highlights that you want to i don't know what this was all right don't it's, worry. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's like the biggest game show in europe yeah i think it's biggest in attendance too isn't it like it is because it's a public show yeah it's yeah. a public show uh public sh- access show maybe <laughs> thanks okay yes. walls they showed a uh, scale bound i haven't watched the trailer yet it looks pretty cool it's it? uh dmc style see like do a couple attacks on the ground, juggle them in the air, do more stuff. Uh, and you have a dragon buddy. Sounds like the evolution of Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, like then, Because you, you actually have a dragon? Yes. Okay. Uh, what else happened there? Yeah, it was a... Uh, Crackdown 3 happened. I'll tell you, okay, the only game that really mattered at the show. They showed the gameplay trailer for Mirror's Edge. That the looked really cool. Did you watch it? I did watch it, and... There's a couple things... Okay, the one thing I liked is in the original Mirror's, Mirror's Edge, they really guided you through that game with the use of color red. Yeah. I'm. It seems like they've taken that out, and I like that more. And I wonder if that's, like, a difficulty option. I wonder if that's, like, if you play above a certain level, like, maybe, there is maybe, no hints. Maybe. maybe. They still they still put in some color for you yeah, for yeah. guidance. Um, but it's okay. It also seems more open world. Uh, no, I think it's about... Do you it think it's still, same. like, just kind of wide levels but really yes. you're going to the same yes. point i don't okay. think it's open world but um the one thing that really irked me was the new voice actress they picked for faith okay i don't like her voice you just don't like it i don't like her voice it just it's not that she's a bad voice it's just it doesn't match the character okay i don't know maybe it's just me i just because they made faith really really asian now yeah and her voice just sounds really really white okay I, d- I honestly didn't notice, mm-hmm. but then again, I am white. Wasn't she always really Asian? 
She was no. She they was, amped it up. Like, they, <laughs> before, because before the original Faith was kind of like this is the future where everybody's sort of the same race. Yeah, or, everyone's like at least a so she Chinese. sort of looked Asian, but she had the Asian bob. Now she's like I'm straight up from the mainland. <laughs> Is this supposed to be a prequel or a sequel? It's a reboot. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, but yeah, like, I... Like, in my mind, I thought... I feel that Mirror's Edge was okay, but, like, I recently looked back at a couple tweets. Like, I have this app called Time Hot, mm-hmm. and it lets you see your social media years back. Mm-hmm. And it came across, like, Mirror's Edge tweets, and mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, man, I really loved Mirror's Edge at the time. Like, mm-hmm. But the thing I loved about it wasn't the story. Like, I loved just the running, like, yeah. and I loved the time trials yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So. Makes sense. Um, let's see. Other small things I, I read upon this week. Uh, Blake, remember Prison Break? Yeah. It's coming back. I don't remember watching Prison Break. Didn't, didn't think it's break out of prison? Damn it! Where's TJ when I need him? I know, TJ, right? yo, Prison Break's coming back. Oh, yeah. Uh, ten episodes. Netflix, I think. Exclusive? Maybe. Same guys? Yes. What? Which is weird, because if I remember correctly, like, 90% of that cast died throughout the show. Wow. <laughs> so... Have you ever watched Oz? Uh, the HBO prison show? No. I always heard that was really good. Yeah, I've been told to watch that. Yeah. But I haven't. Okay. Yeah. And the last thing, salaries were were revealed. Of? Of the cast of the Avengers. Oh, wow. Like the Marvel crew. All right. All right. Tony Stark is the highest paid, Avi. You're so... Robert Downey Jr. literally is Tony Stark compared to everyone else on this fucking list. Really? Yes. So I'm gonna start <laughs> with um, we'll we'll do the Chris's. Are we gonna? You want to go lowest to highest or? Okay. Who do you think got paid the lowest? Okay. Not the Avengers. Not all everybody. We'll just say Marvel movies in the last year. Marvel movies. Yes. Okay. Then Ant Man got the least. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Probably. Paul yeah. Rudd. Yes. I don't know how much he made. But uh, the like I guess Mark Ruffalo would be in this then. Uh, no, 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 no. Because he doesn't have the Hulk movie. No, no, no. Uh, I'm going to go with Hemsworth. You think Hemsworth made the least? Yeah. No. Okay. Who made the least? Chris Pratt, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah! I forgot that movie came out. You would. Oh, but yeah, did you mention they revealed how they do that, is that they pay everybody nothing for the first movie. Yeah. And then if it gets really big, they pay everybody what they should get. So Chris Pratt made $13 last year. (laughs) That's it? That's it. He just, he just, you know who just edged him out? Who? Chris Evans. What? At 13 and a half. Oh. What? For Captain America? For Winter Soldier. What? Wow. Yeah. Chrissy. Because you know what? He signed that contract too early when they're like, we need you for five more movies. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Is yeah. that why he doesn't want to be in it anymore? Because he feels he got ripped off? Or? Well, I mean, of course, some of it, they'll never say it's money, but of course. Sometimes, it's uh, like at that level, like it's sometimes, yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be, especially when you see, when I tell you how much t- Iron Man makes. Yeah, we'll eventually get there, yeah. but. Okay, the next one, uh, Hemsworth. Okay. Yeah. He makes 27. Okay. Wow, it's double. That's Dang. crazy, right? It's decent. That's, that's, that's actually crazy. double. That's a paycheck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, But then we'll just jump uh, all the way up to Robert Downey Jr. What does Carl Johansson make? They don't show it down here. Oh, uh, okay. Who else is in there? No um, let me see if this thing will load. Um, Jackie Chan's on the list. What? For what? Why? Oh, sorry, because it's uh, it's the top eight actors of the past year. Oh, okay. okay. Right, right. And Jackie Chan's, like, thing number two at 50 million. Oh, wow. Okay, fine. Number Robert two at Downey. 50? Yeah. Can Robert Downey at 100 million? No. Oh, Is he at nine digits? No, he's not at nine digits. But Robert Downey Jr., get, and remember, he doesn't have his own movie, and he's not making any more Iron Man movies. Yeah. yeah. He made 80 million. I 80 million. Wow. 80 million that's more than and you wonder why they're like we need to make a new iron like we gotta write this guy out somehow that's crazy yeah that's nuts that's right amazing. what if they can't write he it made out? more than all three marvel chris's combined that's chris pratt chris awesome yes. good for him wow that's nuts that's a business move and i applaud him he what really is he tony stark he signed the right contract at the right time that's that's what he did yeah damn yeah. wow yeah don't that's, rough. that's crazy i wish i made 80 million dollars yeah he doesn't have to do his own like solo movie he's basically just a side character in the rest of the marvel universe and he's gonna get paid more than everyone else that's awesome I'm jealous. 
You a jelly belly? I certainly am. Mm-hmm. It's, no, it's no billion dollar for headphones, though. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a billion dollar headphones. Dre, Dr. Dre, Apple bought Beats by Dre for a billion dollars. Wow. That, that, that's a good business move. That, that's a good business move. Yes. A, it's a B. <laughs> yes. You know who hasn't been doing business moves? Who? Me. Us. In this past week. I don't know. I went what to the mean? bank. Oh, did you? I deposited some money. So did I. <laughs> I uh, I got rid of forty dollars American. Ooh. And with our dollar, I got left. Oh, oh uh, man, oh. I got paid forty five bucks. No, <laughs> it was like fifty two. Oh wow. Yeah. No. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Our dollar sucks. Uh huh. Gross. Dollar is trash. Yeah. Anyways, let's move on to our weeks. Yo. Yo. Do it. Yo. So this week. Played Rocket League. Okay, I'm gonna hop on this Rocket League train with you because I also played Rocket okay. League. Okay. Oh yeah. So last week after the after my uh, excitement for Rocket League, I got Anthony to play Rocket League. I was you like, must love it. Yo, I was I was killer at Rocket League. You see where? Destroyed. Yeah. Sure. Sometimes you just gotta go in reverse. You know, uh, you just don't have the time to turn around. You right? just gotta hit that reverse button. So tell me about your experience with Rocket League. Yo, Rocket League's fun. Yeah, I told but, you. But like, it's that same thing of. Of League of Legends, where like, I I just want to keep playing, and that's okay. And then I look at my other games on my shelf, and I'm like, I should really finish these. I bought these for a reason. No, you didn't. Like, I, I I'm almost done Splatoon. Like, I should finish Splatoon. Nah. <laughs> and like, Rocket League just never ends. No. Uh, but like, what? it's it's really fun, and like, I can see if this gets into some sort of. Competition, the competition esque yeah. aspect. Like, if this becomes like MLG, whatever, right? This would be actually very entertaining to watch. Oh, totally! It the game perfectly sets itself up for, uh, fun like, fun like teamwork strategies. Yes. Uh, if you get good enough, like I've I've learned to pretty much like pass the ball to be able to if I hit it at a certain angle, like I can pass it over. Sure. Uh, it's not always a hundred percent. Like people have to jump for it, but it's good enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like I can see really cool plays happening. Like yeah. I've seen cool plays happen just in my very first game and stuff like Yeah. Uh it's it's great because like I think it sets itself up, up for this kind of thing because it is only one map. Yes. And it is only really it's there's more than one gameplay mode, but really there's only one gameplay mode. Of course. Which is three on three. Uh-huh. Right. Anything and, else is pointless. Yes. Yeah. But it's the thing of there is one map. Like, there's different backgrounds, but the map well, is all the same. It's soccer. And it's soccer, yeah. But the thing is, uh, the game before this, the yeah. game that Rocket League is a sequel to, they had different maps. They oh, had, did they? It had hills, it had bumps, bridges. Like, oh, I don't want like, that. Don't want yeah, that. Yeah, see, like, so I like I really feel that that sort of uniformity was was is the reason that Rocket League is kind of taking off like it is. Because it's a, it's a smaller barrier for entry to get people in. <laughs> Which is, I don't have to learn these strategies of these new maps yep. all the time. Yep, yep. And then also the fact that it's just very simple. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, you know what soccer is. Like, yeah. you've watched the World Cup at least once. Yep. And, like, you know what driving a car is. It's good. It's, like, I know these guys probably made this game because they wanted to. And, like, it was, like, a labor of love, probably. But, like, it just seems like such a smart move in retrospect, I guess. Yeah. Like, everything kind of combines to make this perfect, like, uh, it's a really good game to stream or watch and stuff yeah. like that. So. Are you going to buy the DLC? Uh, probably not. No. Uh, like, unless I get start getting way into it, like, I have been purposely making myself, like, only play, like, one or two games. Whoa, what the... <laughs> I have purposely made myself only play, like, one or two games on, on Rocket League, but... Yeah, like, I can see myself... If I get, like, way into it, I can see myself buying the DLC. Okay, yeah. I think I'm gonna buy the DLC. You're just, you're just there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I did tone down my playing this week, because I, I really wanted to finish The Witcher. Okay. And you did finish it. I, I did! Oh my god, that game, like, psychs you out, like, five times, and thinks you're at the end, but you're not. Like, you're, like, 30 hours away. <coughs> what did you get that game for? What? What what system did you get that game? PS4. I got it for fun. <laughs> can uh go for entertainment purposes? Can I can I borrow it? You can't. Oh, you sell it already? Digital. Oh, boo. Because I wanted to play a day before it came out. The digital future. See, this is the problem. I can't mooch off your library. <laughs> That's a shame, right? <laughs> Let me share play it until I finish it. Can we do that? I don't know. Oh. 
Or maybe I'll have to sign in on your PlayStation. But, yeah. But yeah, no, it's... Uh, oh, it's great. So, like, wow. was the ending satisfying after, like, two months? Uh, yeah. I think it was, but... I, uh... I played in a way... Like, because it does have branching endings and, like, different things you can do at the end. Okay. And I think I was pretty satisfied with my choices. I heard there's, like, 30-something endings. Yeah, and there's one very, very common ending that most players get on their first time. Okay. That deals with his love life. Okay. Which I didn't get because... You don't care? No, because I'm awesome. Oh, okay. That's... Cause I I, you're just all about the witching? No, 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 because... Because I picked a lady and I stuck to it. Oh, okay. You know, every gamer's like, I could bang that, I'm gonna do it. You were faithful? Yeah, and if you don't, at the end, you kind of like, they just like, fuck you, go go away. Yes. Living the dream. Mm. <laughs> Spoken like a true villain. But uh, no, The Witcher is great. It's, uh, I, my game clock says it's taken me 15 days to beat it. I'm sure it's not that long. But I would peg it at like 150 hours. So that's the thing, like, if you leave it on rest mode, does it keep the timer going? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, I should check my Batman timer. Yeah. Because I started using, like, the... Finally. Yeah, that feature. And you're like, this is kind of awesome. It's okay. No, it's kind of awesome. It's fine. It's kind of awesome. It's okay. But yeah, no. So The Witcher's great. Uh, best game this year so far. But then I bought Galak Z. Oh, I also got Galaxy. Oh, man. Let's talk roguelike space shooters. <sighs> this game is tough. It's hard. So how far have you gotten? I am still in season two. Okay, yeah. Like, I oh, I just beat season one, and I haven't started season two yet. So you don't have the robot. I do not have the robot Oof, yet. The robot. My shit, I just got, I just beat the, the white worm or whatever. Yeah. And my ship started glowing. Oh. And that's it. That's the last thing that happened. So you're lucky then, because uh, they put a patch out recently. Okay. That addresses the robot. Because when, when you first get the robot when I played it, the transformation felt like it took forever. Okay. And you were just waiting there. But with the latest patch, it's almost instant now. Oh, okay. So you can go you can go back and forth. Uh, but yeah, no, this game is, like, so good. So, okay, let's just... It's a roguelike. Sort right? of. Sort of. Yeah. And, like, how it works is you play through a season of an anime. Yeah. Pretty much, right? Pretty much. So you have to beat all five episodes yeah. of a season in order to progress to the next season. Yes, and there's five seasons in all. And there's five seasons in all. So if you shut yeah. off or quit like mi- on like episode four, season yeah. one, yeah. you have to start all the way back at episode yeah. one. Yeah, And like that didn't really hit me until like I died the first time. Oh, and then you would start at the, bo- at the yeah. beginning? Yeah, so what happened to me the first time I ever died yeah. was, season, was season one, episode five. Oh, no! Final boss battle. The worm was exploding yeah. as it was doing its death animation. Yeah. And one of the balls that comes out of the worm hit me. You didn't juke? I I didn't see it coming. Oh, I man. was distracted by the explosion. Oh, man. And it killed me as the boss was dying. Oh, no. And I was like, no. Uh, but the thing is, you can revive at yes. certain points. So, like, there are crash coins you can get. Yeah. And with these crash coins... Uh, if you die, you cash those in for money, and you can get more upgrades at the beginning to make your first run, again, easier. Yes. Right? Uh, but you, if you have five crash coins, yeah. you can restart. Yes. So when I saw that option, I was like, sick. I'm just going to restart, go yeah. through it again. No. If you restart with... Have you restarted with the crash coins? Yeah. Yeah, so if you restart with the crash coins... You start out, say you're on the last level of the season. Yeah. You start out on that last level with nothing. Yep. You have no upgrades. And you have to go, like, Metal Gear it deep into the level <laughs> yep. to find your previous stash. Uh huh. And if you die on your corpse run, you're done. It's done. It's goodbye. That's crazy. Did you die? No, I oh, found okay. I found it. But like that was that was the most intense. Like I was watching my uh, noise gauge. Yeah. Uh, when you th- when you th- uh, boost and stuff. And yeah. Have you gotten a hold of the strafing yet? Yeah, it's pretty simple. I haven't. I can't. I can't get a hold of it. I don't know why. It's because you're not good at flying macross jets. I'm not. It's true. Yeah. Uh. But yeah, like this game's real good. It is. It is. At first, um, I think I liked it a lot because when I was a kid, I loved playing asteroids. Okay. And the controls are very similar to that. 
At the beginning, you're literally playing asteroids. Yeah, you are playing asteroids. But then they give you other options, like you can boost reverse, and you can do the strafe. Strafe, yeah. And you got thrust uh, for extra speed. And, but it's also got that, like, upgrade element from, like, uh, Gradius. Yeah. Yeah, so you have, like, bullets that split and then go on fire, then bounce. You can get a multi-shot. Yeah. You can do the three-way multi-shot. And... Yeah, no, and it's it's so... So much stuff happens on the screen that has the... Has like the best part of Macross, the endless missile spam. Yeah, yeah. The missile spam is very satisfying. It is like when you full lock onto someone and you just see yeah. Robotech, yeah, Macross style just coming at you. Like, I wish there were more missiles. <laughs> I'm sure, it's an upgrade. No, I mean like, cause you only get like what sixteen. Well, because your missiles are, yeah, limited, right? Yeah, you get 16 I, missiles. I, I wish the missiles were infinite. I feel in season, at least in season one, that enemies drop enough missiles. Like, I, I don't, I never found myself out of missiles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in season two, yeah, yeah. In season two, it's not the case, I found. Okay. It's more about being your robot. Okay. And, because, oh, you haven't fought the Raiders yet. The Raiders? No. The no. third. I've only fight, fought the, the Legion, or... The Imperials, or whatever the bad guy, the alien bad guy race is. So, the Raiders? Yeah. Can become mechs. Oh, sick. So, like, there are mechs in Season 1. Yeah. And you just have to, like, backstrafe and whatever. The Raiders mechs are like your mech, only better in every way. What? They're faster and larger, and they're, their boost is faster than yours. Oh, wow. So, they're scary. Can you grab them? You can, and then they'll just slice you. If you grab them... if you Okay, question. If you grab enemies from behind... Can they still hit you? No, but they can do some... They can do something to get out. I can't remember. Okay. Yeah. But, like, if you grab them from behind, you get, like, some free damage until... They leave. And then you toss them on something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, no, it's uh, it's very fun. It's very hard, but uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I love the, the 80s retro theme. Yeah. It's very much Macross. Yo, that pause menu. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Um, you have the captain from Battleship Yamato. Yeah. He's, just, he's there in the game. There. And you're on the Battleship Yamato. Like. Yeah, pretty much. It is the Battleship Yamato. And I was like, oh, interesting. And they're traveling back to Earth. Yeah. So, yeah. You're, you're the last pilot. And you have a sh- you have the shop guy who's like this, the moralist space pirate who just collects salvage. <clears throat> yeah, I'm hoping for that, uh, I'm hoping that Captain Harlock's equivalent shows up somewhere. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. Uh, but yeah, like this game, like it's hard in the way. Like I don't want to do a direct comparison to Dark Souls, mm-hmm. but I feel it's a comparison everyone will understand. Yeah, where it's not hard, where you feel cheated. I feel at least. Yeah, it's hard to where I died because I decided to take on three battleships at the same time. Yeah, that's 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 an apt comparison. Yeah, I think the only difference is <sighs> Dark Souls is harder to grasp in terms of its mechanics. And yeah, its yeah, yeah. So this one's a feels a lot. And you can easier. easily do some really cool stuff in Galaxy. Yeah, you can. You can. But you know, I'm, I hope to have it finished in the coming weeks, hopefully. The other time I died, uh, I went into I went to an asteroid, and you know yeah. how there's those lava walls? I was like, oh, cool, a lava wall. You went into it? No, I shot at it. Oh, no. And then a fireball came out and killed me instantly. Oh, my God. <laughs> you don't have the lava upgrade? No, there's a lava upgrade. It protects you from heat. Oh, cool. No, I didn't see that one. So you one. could just swim in the lava. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, could you grab enemies into the lava? You can. Sick. Yes. See, like, yeah, there's a lot of upgrades that I've never seen yet, and, like, it's constantly bringing out new stuff and new strategies for you yeah. to play. Yeah, definitely use the environment. That's what I'll say. Uh, I also think it was a very good decision not to for you not to take damage when you hit walls. Yes, I'm... I I ride the walls. Yeah, like, unless you're... Unless you get hit by a weapon and then hit a wall... Yeah. They mentioned at the beginning, unless you get hit by a weapons grade attack, like yeah. you're not gonna get damaged. So you can just thrust into the wall. Yeah, you're yeah. good. And I think yeah. that's like a really good uh, uh-huh. like feature. Uh, I decision. also decision. I also like things that are, are not really associated with the actual gameplay. Like I like the writing between attack and beam. Yeah. Like she has some pretty dumb explanations for stuff. Just, just cause. Yeah. Sometimes you're just like just just do it. Like what are you talking about? Stop being a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, no. No, I like that. No, it's a good game. I, I definitely recommend it. It's a good summer jam. Man, that game's good. And finally, I'm going to regale you all with a small cycling story time. Again? Very small. Very small, okay? <laughs> Go. Uh, I, some background info. You guys know I like racing games and stuff. Yep. I like going fast. Uh-huh. 
But my favorite thing about going fast is going around corners fast. Is it? Yes. I feel like every time you tell me that you go around a corner fast, you fall. Uh, yeah, in racing games, the whole the reason why I like racing fast things is to see how fast I can go around a corner. Right. But right. I feel in real life, every time you tell me you go around the corner fast, you fall. And, you'll f- in, and you're about to find out why. Okay. Because in racing games, in order to know how fast I can go around the corner, i got to go past the limit. Okay. I have to find that limit before I can always u- abuse it, right? Okay. And in, in racing games, it's easy, because you do it, you crash, whatever, hit restart. Real life's a little bit different. <laughs> you get hurt. Yes, you do. So I was going down uh, where we live, Garth the Mountain Access. Okay. And at one point, it gets really steep that I'm outgeared. So... Gravity takes over, and it doesn't matter if I'm pedaling or not anymore. You just go. I'm just going around 70 kilometers per hour. Okay. okay? And at the, bottom, at the bottom is Aberdeen, because my goal is McMaster. All right. Mind you, I'll say this. I was doing it at like 5.30 in the morning. All right. This was the other day. And I was like, okay, how fast can I take this corner? I really want to know. Like, am I do I need my brakes for this? Or can I just take it if I'm wide Did enough? you ride the rain gutter? So, like, no, initial no, D? no. So I look okay. behind me. I'm like, there's no car. I was looking across the street, no cars. I'm going to see, okay, I'm going to start out with the widest line I can take in at 70 kilometers per hour and okay. see if I can make it. All right. You can't make the turn. <laughs> <laughs> you go out too wide and you hit the sidewalk on the curb. And it's not one of those like slanted, yeah. it's just a square. It's just the yeah. fucking flu. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I flew. Where'd you land? On the grass. Okay. In an ant's nest. Oh! But I didn't realize there were ants there, so I was just lying down being like... This hurts. Yeah, because... Well, yeah, I was hurting, and I was like, I'm just going to take a breath, take a breather. Some car stopped and said, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Cool. I'm just going to... I'm just going to... You know, Did he there, see... Did that person see you crash? Apparently he saw me crash. Cause That's awesome. Because behind me. That's hilarious. Okay? Oh, yeah, it's fine. And then my water bottles were, like, scattered across the street. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's where they went. <laughs> but then I was sitting there, and I'm like, why do my thighs feel like they're on fire? And I and I could barely see because the sun hadn't come out yet. And there's ants crawling all over my legs. Yeah. And they're biting me. And oh! I'm just like, oh, this sucks! <laughs> yeah. But so, needless Balls. to say, my ride home was a bit fiery. So now you're going to take it home, you're going to take that corner at 65 instead? Like So the goal is, one, to do in the daytime where I have better vision. No. And two, yes, 65, and I'll work my way down. Okay. But there you go. Blavin, what's your week been like? So my week has been fairly uninteresting. I bought what? a new game. Okay. I bought a game called Etrian Odyssey Untold. Who are the you? Fafnir Knight. What? You don't buy games. I like Etrian Odyssey. No, but like video games. You don't yeah. buy video games anymore. And all weekend I've been trying to finish one of two games so that I could play this Etrian Odyssey game. <laughs> so my choices were... I've been there. <laughs> Deus Ex. Yeah. Which is a long game. Yeah. And Xenoblade Chronicles. Which is a longer game. So just keep in point, you can't finish those two games in two days. No. I don't think there's actually enough hours in the day. No, there's not. Yeah. Like, it, it wasn't... Vince, wasn't your clock on Xenoblade, like, 80? Yeah. Yeah. Like, just for the main story. But the guy saw me here exclaim silently while I was watching something on Twitch. Yeah, you fucking lost your mind just now. Because... So, as everybody knows, the new Magic set just came out. Magic Origins. Yeah, as everybody knows. Everybody knows this, guys. As everybody knows. My mom was like, yo, Anthony, the new Magic, Magic set's set out. <laughs> anyway, there is a card in that set, which I really like. It's two mana, or two and a blue mana for an enchantment, that whenever you draw a card, your opponent mills the top two cards of their deck. If they're both non-land, and they share a color, they have to repeat the process. Really? So somebody at the Pro Tour made a deck that was red and blue, that all the card deck did was play spells that say like, oh, as an additional cost to cast this card, discard another card in your hand, draw two cards. Yeah. As additional cost to play this card, discard a land, draw two cards. And then there's a card called Treasure Cruise, which is seven colorless and a blue. And you can exile up to seven cards in your graveyard to help pay for the cost and draw three cards. So they just be pitching a bunch of cards and then drawing more cards while this thing's in play so that your opponent will constantly have to mill the top two cards of their deck. Oh, wow. Oh, it is currently at a Grand Prix in San Diego. S- yesterday, it finished off nine wins, zero losses. Damn. Today, it went 13 wins, one loss, and then an intentional w- loss to get a- to scoop into the top eight. And now it's in the finals. Why would you want an intentional loss? 
Oh, it's just because he was already locked for top eight, and one of the other pros needed the points to get in as well. So he just gave him the win. So they could. They always. Cool. I don't know how. I don't know how these people do it, but they figure out if they're in the top eight or not by looking at their stuff. Their points or whatever. Yeah, or their okay. points or whatever. But he, I think he was go first going into the final round. Anyway, everybody said this deck was a joke. And now, now it's in the finals, and I've been running it all weekend in our game days, and I'm currently four and two with the deck. I, I love this deck a lot. This deck's insane. Well, it's, it's so much fun, and it's, it's good. super annoying for your opponent because they get so mad. Because they're not losing by damage. They're, they're not losing, losing in the conventional way. They're losing by milling their graveyard, and there's nothing they can do about it because no one prepared for it. That's pretty sick. The only decks that I lost to were red decks who had just like one drop, one drop, one drop, kill you, which, Turn kills, three, which kills anyone else yeah. anyway. <laughs> so, you know what? Style points for me. <laughs> this deck's amazing. And when I saw you guys, when you guys saw me, this guy had the mill deck or whatever. He milled his opponent to one card. Yeah. Uh -huh. And his opponent has a card that says every turn, you must exile the top card of your deck and you can play it for free on your turn before you draw your... Oh. You know? So he had one card. He had to flip it over for the enchantment. And then he had no deck he to draw. He had no deck to draw. So right. I was like, oh my god, he killed himself. That's cool. <laughs> you just, you gave him the gun. Yeah. And then he shot himself. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, that's so funny. This deck's amazing. Like, That's pretty cool. Is most this, people have been what so... What format is this? Standard. Standard? Okay. And I hate standard. All right. But now that there's a mill deck, but now you I love, standard. love playing mill. It's so funny. So, the finals is going to come up soon. Can't wait to see if it wins. Because <laughs> if it wins, it'll be bad for me. Why? Because it'll be... Everybody will know about it, and everybody will play it. Or prepare for it. Uh, or people can still think it's a joke and not play it at all. It, like people think it's like a one-off thing. Yeah, one-off thing. Okay. And I hope that's the case. Not a, not a lot of people play Mill. Like, I don't, I don't feel... Well, I mean, everybody wants to play Mill. Yeah. And really? Yeah, I mean, it's, the, it's the dirtiest way to win. It's the most it's, annoying deck Well, to I have to Well, I have to deal 60 points of damage to you. And milling your deck doesn't do anything. Like, yeah. it doesn't impact the game at the time, right? Like, I literally am doing nothing, hmm. right? Like, if I'm hitting your life, that's something, right? You actually will die at 20. Mm -hmm. But now I have to hit you for 60. Okay. Right? So, yeah, this is sick. <laughs> so, yeah. Good times, good times. Good times. But yeah. That's me, Mario. <laughs> Thanks. So, uh, yeah, other than Galaxy and uh, Rocket League. Mm -hmm. uh, so, guys, I have a problem. We know. So, you remember a couple weeks in ago? In more ways than one. When I was talking about Galgun? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. There's a friend of mine who works with me who actually said, Hey, do you know what this game called Galgun? Really? And I was like, You're a sick man. <laughs> <laughs> Why, well, does he have it? <laughs> yeah, he has it. <laughs> so, so I bought I bought a different game. Oh, no. It's called uh, One Chambara. Z2 Chaos. I saw this in our warehouse. So, like, I don't know how you, on one hand, can be doing this kind of shit, and then just earlier in this episode, you're like, Japan, what the fuck's wrong with you with that school life? Yeah! Shit? I understand it's a problem. But you're not... Okay. But the thing is, is... Okay? So, this game on the surface... Oh, shut up. Don't tell me how, like, guess what? It's got these amazing game mechanics it that, does. that rivals Devil May Cry. No, not, not, not that far. But it's pretty cool, interesting ideas. So, like, the uh, uh, it's just, like, a but lot of... But if you of... could just get past the half-naked bikini no. girls? No, you can't get past the half-naked bikini girls. Okay. That is not an option. Okay. Because they are literally the main characters. Okay. So you play as four characters at the same time. Sure. Uh... Like the pre the previous story, uh, you what, defeat your. When you say the same time, do you mean like simultaneously? Uh, no. Okay. So they're in your party. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you always have four characters at your disposal. So like that uh, Dragon Quest uh, Dynasty Warriors game. Is that how that works? Yeah, you have your party and you can switch between them at, at any point. Almost. Okay. So uh, the game plays like I guess yeah more like more or less like a Musou game. Okay. Uh, you fight hordes of zombies that are taking over the earth. And you go to different locales to beat up these zombies. Uh, there's some overarching story that's total garbage and doesn't really matter. The thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. You want to know? No, not really. No, all right, let's do it. So you, uh, there are two sets of sisters. One is a, a half vampire, half human, and the other are these people called the Baneful Blood. They're werewolves. They're not. They're not werewolves, but they have cursed blood. Okay. Uh, I forget. I forget what the reason is. So in the first game, 
Uh, you have to... Your mom, who is the vampire lord, sends you to kill the Baneful Bloods. Of course. Uh, but really what it is, is that your mom sent you to kill these people, hoping that you would all die, so she could have her grand plan of taking over the world. Right? Okay. Which is not what vampires do. So you do that, uh-huh. uh, and then this game picks up where a new foe is revealed... Uh, also trying to do the same thing, take over the world of zombies uh, and different like werewolves and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you now have to work together with your previous enemy. Uh, and so you, the, the two vampiric sisters get into a situation where they have the only way to survive is to drink the blood of the baneful blood, so the cursed blood. And because they're this half vampire mix, normally it would kill them, but because they're special, it makes them stronger and they get like a superpower mode, pretty much. It's their devil trigger. Yes. Uh, which somehow makes them have less clothes. Okay. Which is hard to believe. Uh, but how... So you have different weapons. Uh, each character has two weapons and it changes their fighting style. But you can do uh, th- different combos where you switch between characters mid-combo or bring out another character that would be controlled by the AI to help you along and fight alongside you. And this allows for like really stylish... Uh, Combos when you're, like, beating on cannon fodder mm. and stuff like that. The only thing is, with these kind of games, is the bosses usually aren't that fun to fight because they're just damage sponges. Like, your effects don't hit them. They just, like, they continue their punch while you're slashing them, right? And you just have to dodge. Uh, but the game, the that mechanic of using your party members is really cool. The thing about this game is that it is shameless at, like, AF. Like, it is crazy shameless. Yeah, the box art told me that. Yeah, so you're just like you're mm. just girls in bikinis wearing. How one, much does this game cover. cost? It's full price. Uh, oh. so what? The I f- was, <laughs> <laughs> but but you couldn't but, even wait for a sale. You had to get this at like. I got the banana split edition. Yeah, oh, I saw that. Oh my uh, god! Yeah. So, uh, first off, the banana split edition is a you get like an art book or whatever and a soundtrack. Uh, but you get these two special costumes, and they are literally a banana covering your vagina, and two strawberries covering your nipples. This is why you bought it, and that's it. That's why you bought it. I bought. Uh, is your yes ass he's covered? I was gonna say because you just <laughs> you just tossed away the art book and shit. Is your, is your ass covered? Not no. It is no. The it's full just the crotch. Butt. It's the crotch. It's the crotch oh. is the bad part. Like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> The other thing about this game that I didn't realize until I bought it is the discard is insane. I was going to bring it, but I forgot. I know what it is. So it is the main character, like, squatting, right? She's just squatting on the disc. Like, that's the discard. It's her squatting. But mm-hmm. the thing is, her crotch is where the hole of the disc is. Okay. So, like, there are people of like, putting different things in the hole. Like, they're penetrating the girl on the disc. And it is just, like, beyond shameless. I would rather show Galgun to people than this game. But I'm having fun with it. <laughs> what, how, did, how did you feel when you brought this game to the register? Uh, I felt really good, because I went strictly in the morning, so no one else was there, except for the cashier, Yeah. who, thankfully, was a dude. Oh. And so then he... He's like, hey, bro, that's a sick choice, bro. <laughs> No, he just, he said, hey, because, like, uh, EB Games or GameStop, they have your edge card, and they can see what you bought previously. So he saw I bought Batman, and we just started talking about Batman. Um, and he just completely... Yeah, because it was so awkward. <laughs> yeah, because you handed him fucking Oni to the bar, and he's like, oh, I got a fucking weirdo no, here. No, I didn't, I didn't hand him it. It wasn't on the shelf. I had oh, to you specifically had to ask, ask for it. And they're like, oh, yeah, we only have one copy. I'm like, I'll take it. You guys touch hands, but he gave it to you. <laughs> he's like, we had two, but I bought the other one. But I bought the other one. <laughs> Uh, yo, speak small tender. Are you EB red? I'm red. Yes, I'm You're not, not a, gold. I'm not a gold yo, slash chump. platinum. And I barely buy video games. How are you gold? Like I don't know. How do you upgrade? I don't know. They Is just, there like a certain amount of points? I don't know. They just they said, "Hey, you're gold." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Like cool. I've bought a lot of games this year, so I don't know why. Yeah, maybe I should ask. Mm-hmm. I know for platinum, you have to pay for it. Wow, that's what I think. I think Christian had it for a while. Wow. Yeah. But uh but so yeah, the other thing about this game is in the So you know in sometimes in Japanese anime or video games, 
they well they talk in Japanese because it's a Japanese thing, but sometimes they say English like English phrases to sound cool. Yeah. So you can have Japanese VO and they do that. Yeah. But in the English VO, they have English voice acting, but they say Japanese phrases in this in the situation oh. where they would switch to English, so they switch it. So it's just people being like, "I'm gonna kick your ass, hey zombie B." Kakate koi, like, <laughs> and it's really butchered Japanese, just like how that's it's really cool. butchered English. And I don't know if that's on purpose, and it's really cool. I, I think at some level, it has to be on purpose. Like, kind of self-aware. It's released by X Seed, so like, if there, if the, any company's gonna do it, like, it's X Seed. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, this game is like a secret shame, just like Galgun is. And like, it's not secret anymore. Not secret anymore, but like nobody I know listens to this, so. Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Spread the word. <laughs> Pay for it. Yeah, I'm just, it's like all on the internet. Who cares? Man. <laughs> the interweaves. Does your father know about this? No. He's your father? He still thinks I, he doesn't even realize that I own a PS4. Ladies and gentlemen, did you guys know that Anthony's father is on Twitter? Yeah. What? Yeah. He talks about politics a lot. Let's send him pictures of Anthony playing Oni Chambara. No, you the, can't. The, the banana split edition. Because you would have to come over. Hmm? And no one, you guys don't come over. Don't, don't worry, man. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. Look, your son is buying. I will, <laughs> I will DM him when you're playing. <laughs> DM? <coughs> Direct message. <coughs> oh I don't even know if he knows how to do that. He's he'll gonna, know. He'll get the notification. Oh, he'll know. <laughs> he'll get it. Uh, Look at this filth. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yo, that's clearly been your week. Good times. That's clearly been it. Uh, no, I've been playing more Time Clicker still. Yeah, we like don't I'm still hear. on the we time don't want to hear about train. that. You sure? No, nope. it's good. Mm -mm. Well, I'm clicking. No, nope. I'm. Getting, I get to, like all these numbers super fast now. <laughs> but there's more numbers to be got. Uh, yeah. Other than that, can't really think of anything. Good. That's what I like to hear. I'm just waiting for the new Diablo patch. Oh, okay. Diabolo patch. Diabolo. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, that's it then, right? That's it. That's our show. Anything you guys want to mention before we, before we get on out? Nah, dog. Don't no. buy Oni Chambara. <laughs> Yo, buy it. <laughs> don't, recommendation. don't buy it. It's not. Yeah. It's special. <laughs> don't buy it. <laughs> Unless banana it's the split. banana split. Banana split. Like, honestly, that probably was the reason I bought it. I was like... <laughs> Like, I saw it, I saw a one copy of it at the Lime Ridge Mall EB, because I was looking for a, a present, because I, I, I bought, uh, I brought our friend Prison Girls Invite Only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I saw the regular edition, right, and, bef like, a while ago, I'm like, eh, like, that game was fun in a campy sort of way, mm. but whatever. And then I went to another EB that has, like, every special edition forever, and I was Is like, it Dundas? Oh, it's the Dundas EB. Thought so. They have everything. Uh, and so, yeah, I went there, and then they, and they had it. I was like, oh, it's the same price. I should just get it. <laughs> and I did it. I'm going to burn you with a steak. <laughs> I think I'll post the, I think I'll post the, what the discard is, and the, the costumes, just the ridiculousness on the Facebook group, maybe. The ridiculousness. The ridic it's so, it's so shameless. Yeah. You secretly sit there loving it. Oh, that, that discard, though. It's a, it's a thing of beauty. Okay, so um, next week you can look forward to Dragon Ball Resurrection of <coughs> F. Yep, yep. Or the NWA. And Oh, yeah, or the NWA movie. Oh, or or neither. Or neither, because we're watching Fantastic Four. Whoa. I heard that's fantastically uh, garbage. But doesn't, that, fantastic. but doesn't that make you want to see it even more? No. I feel like the whole internet's just trolling us. I know. It's probably the best. I bet you it is the best movie in the world. I've been hearing nothing but positive things about Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball Z movie, and that makes me very skeptical. I've been hearing mixed. Okay. I hear nothing happens. <laughs> Is that a Dragon Ball joke? No, I hear, I hear actually nothing happens. Like, this movie's of no consequence. None of the Dragon Ball movies are of any Battle of Gods is. No. Well, you, they, make, they at least make new strides and new characters and, and new friends and stuff. Yeah. Dragon Ball movies have no consequence, because they are not canon. But Broly... Again. <laughs> but Broly, though. <dough. laughs> Broly. No consequence. All right, cool. Thanks for listening. Later days. Bye-bye.